Hello, everybody, and welcome to practice for the world, the Risk World Championships on the main Risk Discord. Today, we are playing the round one settings that is going to be for real. This will be in round one of the Risk World Championship. Uh, so I'll explain that when we get into the game. But for now, who we got here is me, JJ Bruh ranked 38,365 for FFA points, uh, top 100, of course, and uh, also 1v1 top 30. We got Arco here, 32,000 Grandmaster. We got Roberta, 28,000 Grandmaster. Rudolph the Daddy, Some viewers 16, may find the following video disturbing. Master. Viewer discretion is advised. Oh my gosh. But he is a Grandmaster. This is a Grandmaster. He's the top player. We got Mohair. Grandmaster, 25,000. We got General the Grey, Master, 18,000. Let's get into it. Top 100, of course. You know what, Million? You can shut the frick up. I've been top 100 for a while now. I have the check mark. That should prove it, you know. Frick you. <laughs> but uh, if you choose to sign up for the Risk World Championships, the signups, I have the invitation to the risk discord in the description and then you could sign up there in the announcements there's arco dabbing like crazy because it's hilarious some viewers may oh find the following God. video disturbing viewer <laughs> discretion is advised some viewers may find the following video disturbing viewer discretion is advised they're all disturbed don't worry <laughs> first position is robert second position mohair Third position, me, JJ Brupp. Fourth position, Rudolph the Daddy. Fifth position, General the Grey. And sixth position, Arco. So, based on my position, I should be going for which bonus? I think this one. Right here. All right. All right. Did I skip? What? All right. Well, I skipped to the four to five phase, apparently. Um, wow. <laughs> so you shouldn't do that in a fixed game. Let me, let, let's just go over the settings now. <laughs> All right. So this is world domination on Japan. Auto yeah, setup. Creeper. Yeah, frick you. Okay. A 60 second turn timer, expert uh, AI. This is, of course... The tournament is not going to be ranked. It's not ranked, guys. This is not ranked games. Uh, the card bonus is fixed. Balance Blitz, Novice to Grandmaster, Alliance is off, Fog off, Blizzard's off. Uh, bot activity behavior will be automated. Portals will be off. Oh, boy. Arco, come on. Come on, what are you doing? Bruh. So now we're just messing around? And we're just messing around now? Is that is that what we're doing? Oh boy. Okay. <laughs> Man, this game's so troll. We got 69 people watching it on Twitch. It's such it's such a troll game that that's how it's going on. All right. Green's taking the bonus in the bottom left. Very obviously now. Orange is taking here. All right. We will just go for here. I'm not going to take it yet because I'm going to take it next. So Arco's got a 10 there, so we don't want to we don't want to rush that because he'll just yoink it. Black is taking a card for some reason. Yeah, I know, right? That guy accidentally freaking card skipped. Looks like Rudolph's gonna take a card out. That was nice of you. Thanks. Alright. 
So we got red in the top, right? We got orange in the middle, green in the bottom left. Arco's probably going for this, maybe. I don't know, blue and Arco. Blue and yellow might fight over it. Arco might walk out, who knows? Weird situation for both of them. One of them can be going for that. They just gave it up, I guess. Okay. Arco's like, get out of my bonus. Hmm. Yikes. Now this is not something you're gonna typically see in the tournament. Someone just slow rolling someone else because of for a bonus. But and you're also probably not gonna see a bunch of grandmasters in the same lobby, but these are my viewers, so it's just how it is. You're more than likely going to see uh, a surplus of a variety of different players in your round one game. So it's not going to be like all grandmasters. Like, it's, there's going to be a large variety. Oh, lost nothing on the three. Loses nothing on the two. Do we see a hit? Oh, there's the loss of two. Just joined. Who is playing? We got... We got Roberta Haggy. We got Mo here. We got me. We got Rudolph the Daddy. We got General the Gray. And we got Arco. All right. I take the bonus and move our stack here. Because that's a generally great spot to put it. Of course, yeah, we'll be friends. No reason to hit you. Okay. All right. Arco's role playing novice players. I don't think a novice player would slow roll. I'm going to be honest. Arco. He, Arco just wanted his bonus because he was threatening blue. Plus five. Me and Arco share plus fives. All right, but the only issue is if blue gets a set on three, he could smash that and take the bonus. And Arco would basically be dead. So. Where do I want to go from where I am right now? Hmm. Green's probably going to take that. Yeah. Okay. So that puts me in only staying where I'm at. Um. We're gonna move to here. That stack there. And four. Okay. I actually swirled white, still being novice. I went from being novice for 50 games to GM in the next 20, 20 to 25. Wow. That's crazy, Beck and Torber. Bro. So we got orange over here. Breaking Arco. Is he's killing Arco. Well played. That's a good move because I should also explain that there are bounties that in the championship where if you were to kill someone, you get three points specifically to you. Three points. And if you were to... So there's placements as well. So first to sixth place. First gets 12. Second gets 10. Third gets eight, fourth gets six, fifth gets four, and sixth gets two points. So you're guaranteed two points going into a game. No matter what, you are getting points. Now, 
there is an order of bounties because you cannot just get three bounties for every or three points for every single bounty so four it looks like blue wants me to move okay so for every bounty you get it starts to diminish um starting with the first bounty being three points the second bounty being three points the third bounty being two points the fourth bounty being one and the fifth bounty being one so the max amount of points you can get from all let's say you sweep the game max amount of points you can get from bounties is 10. so that's three three two one one so if you add all your points together the max amount of uh points you can get for the whole game 22. so 22 is pretty good amount but that's all you can get so so if you're in theory to sweep the whole tournament Let's say there's eight rounds. 22 times eight is how many points you can get maximum. All right. He wants me to move. And I have a set. And of course I use that because, yeah. Um, So in this situation, I would kill blue. Good game. I just got three points and another two points for moving up because now I'm in fourth place no matter what happens because there's only four player players left. So I also got cards from that, which was worth it um yeah so anyways right now i am guaranteed the so fourth place is six points plus an extra three i'm guaranteed nine points now after that so orange also has two bonuses you need to watch out for that i should have broke him yeah i should have broke him that was a mistake by me him holding all that's quite a lot he doesn't really care about this, I can tell. All right. Well, maybe we can work together, me and Oh, he broke green. Green is the weakest on the board, so that kind of makes sense in a way. But it you if you were going to do something with green, you definitely should have killed them. I think in my position, I take the bonus over here. And yeah, my seven's just in the way of orange. Um, I do not have a big set because I have all horses. So I do keep the Joker though. So I get a big set next time, most likely, unless I just get all horses again. Green's going to want to keep his position on the outside and then take that. But orange is going to get five. I do want to break orange. Yep. Okay. So we'll put that there. He's not going to like me for this, but I think it's the right move because it's a wide open bonus. It's kind of like inviting me almost. Um, he's not going to like me, but this is what I should do. He'll probably break me, but he left it wide open. So he could be mad, but he was not guarding his bonus. I have a 22 next to mine, both of them, and I can retaliate with a big set. E plus three on there. Cool. Like you hit me, you're going to get smashed. So I'm kind of expecting him to hit my nine. Yep. No. He wants, he's asking me to move it. Okay, but split. I'm going to go through you. I'm definitely going through. I'm not going to break red. Red's next to me. Makes no sense. 
Okay. And with red being next to me, he's going to want to be friends with me here. Now I'm just going to go through into green. Probably get rid of the green 10 there so it makes him... Then he gets rid of my green at the top, yeah. Hmm. Let's see what happens. Depends, because at this point in the game, it's like, hey, now we're in a... We will... Uh, it depends on how the players react to what's going on. So. Um, we want a giant stack there, back here. He's not happy, of course. I want to make him not want to hit me, but if I hit green, green hits me. But maybe we could progress the game, I don't know. I don't want to get suicided. Oh, I lose four. Okay, let's just progress the game then. How about that? Yep, green's not after me though, so this, this is okay for me. He's only gonna get three. He only gets three troops. His 23 is open to me. What am I doing? His 23 is open. Um, orange has the option of killing him. Probably should have hit the last one, though, to make that happen. So. Gave you the bonus, bro. I gave you the bonus. Red's going to help green do that. That was generous of him, apparently, so he doesn't get his bonus broken. So. We're going to see green probably hit everything of mine in terms of my bonuses. Or we'll see him chill. Who knows? Yep, he wants to retaliate. There's no reason for him to keep going. Leaving your stacks in there is bad. I'm going to hit your 14. Okay. Cool. We're just... Hoping we get a good roll. Nope. Bad roll. Good game. Jeez, I should have just kept my stack in there inside orange. That was my... I don't like fixed anyways. I'm not trying to say that I that that's how I suck at fixed, but like, I'm more of a progressive guy and fixed is not my thing. <laughs> For this reason alone. Like, I was trying to be nice to orange, but I also didn't want... I was just trying to progress the game, but that stack was there. And orange didn't help me out. He just... I could have like... I don't know. Maybe if orange did something to... But I guess I get the next placement up now. So. Yeah. So I'm definitely dead. I'm going to die next. But then he feeds the game. Red, Red's also going to have a chance to destroy him. No, don't, don't hit me. Yeah, chill. Okay, let's see what happens here. Red has two choices because if he kills me, he does not get first. 
But if he goes after orange, he has a chance at getting first. That leaves me alive, of course. All right. Well. I want to get over to that side, but I'm also breaking. So I think my only way of being fine here is go there. And go back. Opening up orange, but not breaking. We are equal. If orange orange doesn't die, he's too split up. He's in too many corners. There's no way he dies. Because his nine is also down in the bottom left. Yeah. So me, I don't I don't necessarily have to break red. But if red like this is like this is the three player end game now. Orange smashes and breaks red's bonus. But yeah. No, he's not going to break him. Then he just gets bigger. In Orange's position, I was expecting him to break. Yeah, I was expecting that. That is the right move. He should move that 9. There you go. Red feeds the game if he kills me. He can't win if he kills me. But now I can go through red to go over to the left side. So this is where since his, since he's broken, he won't be mad at me for going through. Um, yeah, we'll fortify this guy here, creating another position. Oh boy, crazy in game. You don't want to take too much because then people will hit you hard. So that's the only thing by that. But you also don't want to sit there and do nothing because then people will just kill you at some point. So red's going to break me now. All right. I think he's taking the bonus. Yeah, he's taking it. Okay. Just chilling. But in order for him to be broken, he has to go. Okay, so then I just take this one. And that's it. And then I move my 29. Here. Give orange a chance to break if he wants. Red also has the chance to break orange. So it's like we all can hit each other.
is going to be interesting in game. Oh boy. Go a little white. I almost tasted death, you're right. So, what does Rudolph do here? He could choose to break someone. He could also choose to just hard pass. It's a very icky situation for like mostly even, but I know that I will catch up. Rudolph will fall behind. Yeah. In this situation, I know I will fall behind. He's a card. No big set. Um, in my situation, I want to kill both. I'd be playing for first and both kills where I'm at. I just would be slowly taking it. Just slowly doing it. So... Like, I'm not going to hit Rudolph because he's getting the least. So I'm going to hit red every turn because it makes the most sense. Not because I don't like red, but because the uh, troops getting... Orange takes a bonus. Fortifies over. Yep. Orange goes for another bonus. So now it's red can hold these bonuses and there's no issue. The orange has access to both sides of me if I break him. But he shouldn't be holding. Alright, Arco. Alright. This is breaking the equalness of So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna break both. Now making them both mad's not good. But trying to break the equal I probably shouldn't be taking this. But I'm breaking all the way. Well, I didn't get to red in time, but yeah, he's going to laugh at me because I, I showed that I was going to and I didn't do it. He's laughing at me. <laughs> Arco is yellow. Yes. Now we're going to see orange slap me, of course. Probably taking more and then red's got to hit him because I won't be able to.
it is not no longer my job to hit orange this turn. Otherwise, it will break the balance of the game. Now, if he breaks me, then I'm then I'm going in third. There you go, Arco. Now at some point I'm going to need to do something different. I am not in an alliance with red. I want to point that out now. Red is not making significantly moves. He is quite a bit, but I'm trying to kind of enforce red to go after orange. And now, now we're at the point where me and Orange are fighting for a second after him doing that. Now it's who gets second. Red could kill Orange and, get, and still get first now. At this point. It's, it's basically at that point now. Orange just broke the balance of it completely. He should have just taken a card and passed. But with him doing that, Red can for sure do it now. Keeps the kill guard. No set. Okay. So I'm gonna have to let orange go through me to break red. I can't oh. I can't do it, but I need to take a bonus along the way, right? I'm gonna move this stack. We're gonna let orange go break red. And if he does, then I can break red on the other side as well. I should have broken him on the bottom. I should have broken him on the uh, other one, but it's okay. Now we want orange to go and break red. Yeah, I couldn't because red was kill guarding. And then if I fail, red can choose between who gets third and who gets second. And I don't want giving him too much. All right, so he's trying to get second, but red can choose now. Red chooses who gets second, who gets third. Orange just, so what dude did was completely just suicide to give himself second place. Now, this is a good move, but he, he literally just handed red the game. That's what he did when he broke me the first time over here instead of, cause I should have broke, I, I was trying to break red and I failed, which if I did, it would have created a more equal balance. But see now red can decide who dies first based on what they believe should die first and get second like i don't care i don't care if i get second obviously i do care but this is red's choice he gets to decide who gets second who gets third he's getting both kills kills me gives me third and gives orange second rudolph gets second place there you go. 
the bone the uh the equalness of the game was broken too many times for that to stay well balanced i should have broken red when i was putting my four there that was there for a reason i needed to break red then but because it didn't happen red got overpowered and then the 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 equalness of the game just shifted over to red's power and then when when rudolph started hitting me hard it was over it was basically handed to red at that point and the and the uh equalness of the game was over so anyways if you enjoyed watching please like and subscribe uh please sign up for the risk world championships they are starting next week starting this monday that's one week from today so be ready this it's coming Bruh. it is coming it is coming in fast uh the last season's champion was fonty 13 and the one before that was the kill Pete strategy so you want to be here to see them play and me play and kilted and every single one of the youtubers and, and uh twitch people so thank you guys for watching uh please like and subscribe and i'll see you guys later i you don't want to miss my games. I'll be posting them probably a couple days after each match. I will be uh, informing you when I'll be live because the first match I will be live on stream on Twitch for it. Um, and yeah. So, yeah, guys. I'll see you guys later. Peace.